Hi there guys, how's it going? Today, we're going to be looking at a universal joint. Now, what is a universal joint? For those who don't know or are new to Scrap Mechanic, a universal joint is... It's basically a, a way of joining pipes and stuff together so that if it changes height, you can still keep the sort of movement. So, what we've got, what I'm trying to say, as you see here, let's pretend that this is our engine. Our engine is connected up to one bearing and one bearing only. Then it's connected through this various sequence of pipes to the end. Now what this lets us do, if I lift this up, it means that we can transfer that rotation still. So regardless of how high or low that this goes, you will always still have the rotation. This is great if you've run in piston engines or anything like that where you kind of want a front or back suspension. And you've got your drive shaft running through throw one of these universal joints in and away you go now i personally as you can see over here i like to use it for a connection for a trailer because what it means is the truck and the trailer are independent and they will go in all directions this will spin round as well so if i need to turn or if anything like that kind of happens this joint will rotate around so it will find its point eventually and it will rotate and it will allow it to hinge down. And obviously there are some limitations because, well, we just haven't got the length in order for that to, to bow down. It's, it's rear is still on the floor. But it does mean that there is always a connection between the two and it allows for a lot of movement between the two. As you see, the truck's nearly tipping over and the trailer's pretty flat to the ground. What else does it mean? Well, I'll show you on a bigger example. So here we've got this. So if we turn our motor on, you can see throughout the entire length is running perfectly flat. But for argument's sake, we go up some a slope or something. So we have that increase in the incline, but the rotation still stays the same. It runs through. And likewise, if this one goes up as well, then we've got another stage up, but that rotation is still exactly the same. As you see, it does start to kind of choke, if you like, or struggle every now and again, but that's just simply because of the way that it goes. It is unfortunate that it does that, but you still have that rotational movement. So where could you use this? Like I say, if you, if you have a, a piston powered engine or a bearing engine or something where you would like to power throughout the length of your machine then you've got this so what this would mean is i could have suspension on the back end of my vehicle they would act independently to the front end of my vehicle but we would still get power through from the drive shaft so for argument's sake this is the front wheels if the front wheels went up and the back wheels stayed flat the back wheels are still getting drive power likewise if the back wheels went up and the front wheel stayed flat you're still getting that consistent drive power they are pretty easy to make in all fairness they are really easy to make and uh it's just a case of getting your weapon of choice so i'm going to use concrete and a load of pipes and then it's just simply as is i start with the bearing and then you can come out as many pipe pieces as you want and then i go t-piece 290s so you're almost going back on yourself, but you're not closing this gap. Inside this gap, you need to put a bearing on each side. And then you need to put the four-way cross. And a bearing's on the other twos of those four-way crosses. A couple more 90s on there. You're basically then rebuilding what you built originally. It's, it's really simple. And then you can come out again, as many as you like. And then that would be at your wall end of this end. I'll uh, weld that to that. I'll throw in my source of power. And then that that's basically it. That is your universal joint. And as you can see, always check that your pipes are welded together. And there you go. Happy dappy do. Simple as that. Now, 
if this was your suspension on your vehicle or you're using it to drive wheels or whatever remember that a piston has no collision and neither does suspension so if i put this on the lift and then was to build a suspension here this will pass right through the suspension and the piston so if you need to extend your turn of force over a long distance and you need something to hold that pipe work up use a piston as you can see right here right front the piston is literally where well, it doesn't have any collision so it's there is to hold up that middle block because without that well it just sag down but it enables you to go straight through it. Same with suspension. I could have put suspension piece in there. And it would work in exactly the same way. I'll show you. So as you can see now that suspension piece is where the block was. So if we turn this on. It still enables it to go round. If we lift this one up. The suspension rises slightly. And away you go. And likewise if we stiffen the suspension all the way up. And then put this down. It's still enables it to pass through nice and easy universal joints many uses i imagine you guys will find plenty for me like i say i use it as my trailer hitch there's no point in having a uh, disconnectable hitch just simply because of the lag that it all creates when it creates a collision so for me this is the way i go and what that means is i can just put a load of different trailers all the way around back here and they'll all have the same kind of link up and it'll just be nice and sturdy it'll be nice and easy to to drive with hope you guys can find this useful take it easy and i'll see you next time bye guys bye for now